Ladies and gentlemen, so today we're answering an awesome question and it's just me, myself, and I. Uh, this is a fun question. This is based off a lot of questions that we're hosting and some projects that we're doing with Clodosilica and other admixtures. So let's get right into it. Film Factory! Sent us a question. Dang! Excellent as always, referring to a Clodosilica Q&A vlog, number 358. Joe, wait, no. Haley will be posting that below, but just because we said it, we might as well do it. Joe. Dibuchi. <laughs> but this question is not from Joe. Dibuchi. It's from Film Factory. Ding! Excellent as always. Can you discuss the importance of order and time frame for you to add your ingredients? I remember in the past episode you mentioned about adding to the or about needing to add the high range water reducer within 45 seconds. Does the clodosilica need to be added at a specific stage or time frame? Thanks. No problem, Film Factory. You know, within that 45 seconds, that's because we're doing that ASTMC 305-ish type Hobart mixer where we're trying to get all of our additives or our water in there and once, ooh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Once we see that wetted cement, that's where we're gonna put our high range in there and that 45 second mark is when we stop the mixer and mix it up. So if it's gonna take you a little bit more water, if you need a little bit more mixing time, that's really, it depends. When it comes to concrete batching, what you wanna do is use the same concept and it might not be 45 seconds, it might be a minute or two minutes depending on how big of a batch you are, but or, or using five, two cubic yards, five cubic yards, 10 cubic yards. So what I recommend is for the high range water reducer, it has to go in with the tail water after the 85% or head water has gone into the mix and most of the concrete has been wetted and then either with or after the tail water. Now the colloidal silica, it's, it's the same thing and I would actually put the colloidal silica after you put the high range in either before, while, or after you're putting the tail water. So you put your 85% water and you got all your materials going into the mixer, they're mixing up, you got your 85% head water in, uh, then you put your high range water reducer in after you get some uh, mixing and agitation and wetting of all the particles. Your tail water is going in with that and as the tail water is going in before it's finished out, send your, uh, send your colloidal silica down the chute. And the reason why is that extra water and that high range water reducer is gonna ensure for proper dispersion of the clotosilica particles throughout the mix. So, great question. And why don't we go ahead and post one of the original high range water reducer coffee talks in the section below. And before we head out, why don't we do one more? Joe? Dibulci. Thanks for the questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete! Bam!